Hey again, guys. Uh, so just the pre um, like review like last time I the last card I reviewed was Blue Caliber Knight. Um, and now I'm going to go on to oh I slightly go on to about YCS is just uh, all in all, just be respectful to your opponent. Um, wash. Don't be uh, disgusting with your player. That's a good hint. Uh, don't do that. Solid advice for life as well. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, basically just ask your opponent for responses. Don't be lazy and let them take advantage of you because they will in the high event like YCS they will screw you over. I've like I've been lucky that every single time until this year I haven't had an opponent that's been a bit and. I was really annoyed that at Nationals this year I versed someone that's quite well known and he acted like a prick. Um, I'm not going to name a name, uh, but yeah, it, it, was, it was annoying because he sh basically sharks me and I was like, wow, I've played like a lot of big players and none of them acted like a dick like you. Um, and it was obvious because I smashed him game one. And so for the rest of the time he was trying to get any advantage he could. And because I then just played deck savers, I hadn't really tested deck savers as much as I should have, um, I was a bit sloppy. So just remember, don't be sloppy when you play. Always ask for a response. Always make sure that you communicate well with your opponent because that will get you far into the event without any problem. Um, and it's just proper etiquette anyway. Um, now striding on to the key things I've seen that, oh okay now basically I'm gonna go on to you about this card Mystical Space Typhoon it's a very good card um, it's at down to three which is quite shocking um, but the like for instance it's not just this format but it's the last format whereas so many people just blind MSP I don't understand why like you, they go MST and then they destroy something and then it, some of the time yeah you're going to get lucky you're going to hit the right thing but then you should be setting your MST because if you MST like for instance even if you're going to turn one I don't like your MST if they, even if they just key set because it's like MST and say a you don't know what you're versing it could be anything say you're versing Dark Lord, they just change Dark Lord they've made a plus um, yeah, so be serious with these. Use it for chainables for like stuff like Call of the Haunted. Um, chainable for like if they like randomly MST your MST and then you just punish them for being an idiot and go MST on something else. But I know you're then technically going to be like randomly MSTing or something, but uh, you're then going to get a plus off of your random MST and just get rid of threats that you don't like. So. Just be like sensible with this because it's not clever to just go. Yeah, I'm just gonna MSD that. There's no, there's no real need. Like, you're not gonna go. F you're not gonna make a gigantic push just because you MSD something. Like, yeah, I hit that. I'm now gonna go all in with my monsters. No, because if they have other back rows, you're acting like an idiot and you deserve to get punished. Um. Um. Basically, it's pretty much with like people mainly set in two now, so don't bother like just randomly MSTing. Um, yeah, because it's not going to give you a bold, posi uh, bold position. Now I'm going to go on to about a card I love, Heavy Storm. Um, a while back, there was a thing called a Pro Storm. Uh, pretty much, this was you set the card. And then people thought, oh yeah, he's set a card. Uh, I don't have to like worry about heavy storm as much because um, if they like if they set two or three, they're gonna make like a plus one of me at most because they're after heavy storm and it will destroy their other cards as well. Um, and then the next turn they flip up their heavy storm and be like, ah, I made more pluses than you thought, and then they're like, oh snap pretty much. <laughs> um, now with the triple MST, um, 
people are like, no, you can't really get away with that anymore. And I guess there's a higher percentage because MSTs the spell, and that's when they deal with the trap. In there was like as much destruction back then, but uh, that's when they did it to set it down. But it wasn't like as big of an impact. Um, but people are like, no, you can't post some anymore. And I 100% disagree with you. Um, I've like it's been a while now because I I've seen a couple of videos of like people doing stuff, and I was like, oh wow. And then um, been current doing it into like the philosophy myself and to see if it works and everything. And it's worked. So pretty much, uh, the average person would set two nowadays because you don't want to get MST, but you, you don't want to get punished for having storm. So, for instance, like the solemn warning in dimensional prison. Sorry about this there. So you have solemn warning, you have dimensional prison as well. Yeah. Um, pretty much, the average thing would be for a person is they say they had to go into a prison and they set an MST, set the two back rows, and then end, sort of thing. Um, or like it's the trap dust shoot with like an MST or something, and then uh, pretty much you'd um, like waste one of them, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, that's an MST or something, uh, which is just what people, like from previous experience of this format, that's what just what they assume, uh, because it's the standard play. Um, so, uh, because of that, um, they set multiple back rows, they feel more comfortable with setting back rows because of the same reason I gave on the pro storm before, they feel less risk of heavy storm, um, yeah, and it really works. So let's say, instead of that MST that we had before, it was a heavy storm. So, now I've got the deeper and I've got the heavy storm, um, I set them both. You force my deep prison, and then you set three back rows, and then in my turn I go heavy storm, and then you're just like, oh snap, pretty much in the same way. Um, you may be like, oh no no no, they're gonna um, MST, but let me just explain to you like before on the uh, how I explained about MST. Yeah, people may go against it, but then pretty much most of the time in a high event, people will follow what I've just said and it works a lot more than you may like argue right now uh, it gets results I'm not gonna lie <laughs> um, I went on to the pro storm yeah so that was the first article um, that was a really long one I'm just gonna see uh, this one isn't as long and the video already has gone to eight minutes uh, so I'm gonna do it this a third video which I wasn't, I, I was not sure if I was going to do, but I'm not going to be able to cover everything in two minutes. So I'm going to come back with a third video. Uh, it's going to be now between this one and the next one as well, uh, so that people get to watch this one as well. Um, so thank you for watching this one. Um, look forward to part three, and I hope you enjoy this.